Welcome to 2023. It's Top 10 Comic Book Covers fans. This is week number 15, sponsored by Mutant Beaver Comics. Find out how you can save 10% off of your order a little while in this video. Before we get down and dirty, guys, we got to find out who won week number 14. And the winner of week number 14 wound up going to The Joker, The Man Who Stopped Laughing, Issue 7, Cover C, Francisco Mantina variant, that ugly teeth cover. Man, that was a great cover, and it won. So congratulations. It moves on to the next round. Okay, so let's kick off number 10. And number 10 is Predator. This is issue two, done by Ryan Brown. This is a 1 in 25 a variant cover. He did those wonderful covers for Craven's Lost Hunt and... Now we have Predator, where you get to see the Predator and maybe other Predators on the cover. Looks pretty badass. You got one Predator with the claws and whatnot, all in the jungle and stuff. So if this one is your favorite, let's make sure you vote in the comment section below. No more than one vote per person. If you have your own comic book cover, make sure you write it in in the comment section below as it can start to trend overtake the other top 10. You're probably wondering why are you in the car, Mike? I'm getting ready to go on a field trip very shortly with my daughter. We're going to see a play, so I have some time to kill, so the only time to record today is in the car. Number nine, the Fernster Bird City Comics exclusive variant, the NES slip case. Yeah, so this pays homage to, obviously, Super Mario Brothers, and, uh, you gotta love it because the Super Mario Brothers movie came out this week. I actually saw it. Fantastic movie. This is awesome as you get the little genie that's shooting the fireball at the bricks. Just classic, iconic. I liked it. Worthy of being on the countdown this week. Coming in at number eight. Speaking of more Nintendo stuff, we have Dark Ride Issue 5, the Trish Forrester exclusive variant where it pays homage to Nintendo Power. So, a lot of you guys that are like my age played a lot of Nintendo back in the day. The only way to find those cheats or hidden stuff was through Nintendo Power. And this is an homage to that. I really appreciate it as you get the devil who's spraying fire all over the place, which is awesome. Coming in at number seven, we have Fantastic Four, issue six, Alex Ross, Alex Ross main cover. Uh, cool cover here as you get to see a spacecraft blasting off. I love how detailed the thrusters are. So realistic as it's going through like the atmosphere and the clouds are like separating here. You get to see the thing holding, I think, his child or maybe it's Franklin. I'm not sure. But what's cool about it is you got Reed who's trying to reach all the way up with his extender arm there to trying to reach the spaceship. Like that's going to like do anything, right? <laughs> all right. Coming in at number six is X-23 Deadly Regenesis, issue two, Nathan Zerdy variant A. A pretty cover. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. However, it's almost too pretty for Laura, right? She's a little bit rough around the edges and she just has too much of a pretty face there to make it like a realistic cover. But it is very pretty. You gotta love the claws, of course, and the shiny, you know, spandex leggings that she's wearing, whatever the case may be. Pretty cover, but not really the character. So that's why it's a little bit lower. Okay, coming in at number five, we have Nemesis Reloaded. This is issue four. Uh, this is cover C done by Brett Booth. I mean, nothing screams more than uh, Nemesis sitting there with a bunch of bodies by his side, all bloody, because that's what he would do. He'll kill everybody. But it looks badass. I love Brett Booth's artwork. Coming in at number four, we have Marvel Voices Spider-Verse. This is issue one, one in 10, uh, Jiang, Jiang Va Virgin variant. This is cool as it has like uh, the different versions of the spiders on the cover, but it's like this punk rock style of colors and you get to see uh, Spider-Punk front and center. He's the main character and he's freaking wailing on that guitar. Looks great, Spider-Gwen's in there. I love the detail. It's just a different type of cover, right? All right, coming in at number three, we have The Last Barbarians. This is issue three. Cover D, Brian Herberlin 
Variants. Another gorgeous cover here. I loved issue one the best when it comes to covers. Issue two didn't quite do it for me. Issue three is nice as you get to see her holding, which is a sword or something, I don't know, in her hand. But again, it's this painted style of artwork. This is something that could be on a canvas. You can see it in a museum. You can hang it on a wall. Absolutely gorgeous with the character on there. All right, coming in at number two. We have Miles Morales, Spider-Man. This is issue five. Great cover with Felicia and Miles on it. Why Felicia's teaming up with Miles on a cover? Who knows? It just looks great. Felicia looks phenomenal on this one. Get to see the gigantic moon in the background and you get to see some clouds or smoke or whatever the heck that is in the background. But I love the over-exaggerated hair with Felicia. That just like adds to it, right? So if you want to see this win, you know what you got to do. All right, guys. So before we hit our number one, I got to remind you of MutantBeaverComics.com. Mutant Beaver Comics is a global leader in exclusive variants with over 3,000 listings in their store. They ship worldwide on a daily basis and offer top-notch customer service. If you use my promo code CORNER10, not only can you save 10% off your first purchase, but every purchase after that. So don't miss out on those exclusives, MutantBeaverComics.com. All right, guys, so here is our number one comic book cover of the week. There was a lot to choose from from this one, but this was something different than the hot girl comic book covers. And the character looks nice on these comic book covers, but this one was cool as it tells a little bit of a story. This one goes to World Tree, issue one, Aaron Bartling, Black Saber, comics exclusive variant. This one is awesome as you get to see this young girl as she's on her phone, you know, going through YouTube, TikTok, whatever it is that she's doing. And you got this crazy, weird lady thing that is like the main character in this comic book. And she's about to murder her from behind. And this chick has no idea what's going to hit her. And look at the crazy ass psychotic face on the villain here. I mean, that's that's some scary stuff. That's something you would see in a horror movie. So there you guys have it. There are my favorite comic book covers of the week. If you have something that you want to vote for, make sure you put it in the comments below. And of course, guys, as always, if you love my content, I'll leave you more content right here. And of course, guys, as always, keep buying, keep collecting, but more importantly, always read those comics. Guys, I'll see you real soon. Take care. Bye.